Well, me Brian again. Hey, I figured out what the noise, but that little squeaky chittery sound is in the background. The last couple videos, it's the tower. Well, so I turned it off. Uh, it's got a bad disk drive or something, and it's always chirping. Uh, but anyways, right. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you guys about, I know. Yes, I know. Right. And yeah, yeah, this place where I'm at is not as exciting as it was in Rachel. Area 51, aliens, and, you know, combat aircraft and all that stuff. Yes, I get it. I do know. All right, and Sam, but... And then, it's about life here. It's about, you know, being in a better place. It's about, you know, having an opportunity to do something better with myself than being a homeless fucking bum over there in the streets of fucking Phoenix, right, with meth heads all over, all around me, stealing all my shit. Right? At least here, right, I have an opportunity to start over again. So, yes, yes, I do get it. Yeah, it is boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you, Brian? I'm going to find you. I had a hater tell me this morning. I'm going to find you. Fuck you, motherfucker. Why you got to hate people so much? I mean, what the hell? And I'm saying, I never did anything to any of you guys, any, any of all the haters. You know, I was looking at the list. You know, I got like 30 of them I blocked. You know and I'm saying, I got, I got the thing set automatically to just block anybody that says anything stupid. I mean, why, why does it come to that? I don't understand that. Why Why can't people just be accepting, you know what I'm saying, of, of whoever you are and just watch the video for the sheer entertainment of it? I don't get that. But anyways, so, I just want to give you guys an update, you know, how we're doing. Yes, obviously we're doing pretty good, right? Um, today we were going to go over and uh, celebrate life over at Kenny's house because we did a bunch of really cool stuff over there and we, and we got the Thunderbird going and everything else we, we, Kenny was going to throw a big old barbecue for everybody that was involved you know what I'm saying and all the stuff that's been going on over there at his house right? and we were going to party down and everything else but he had to work today unfortunately but you know what I'm saying it, it, where he's working at ain't half bad because he's working down here at, at, at the Jane Festival you know what I'm saying over in Tulsa Right, where where they're, because here in Oklahoma, yeah, yes, I'm in Oklahoma, right, here in Oklahoma, right, they're getting ready to legalize, or legalize medical marijuana, and, and marijuana in general, right, I, I think, I think the recreational, the recreational part was put on the ballot too, so here in October, they're getting ready to, you know, vote for it, and probably 90% of these rednecks out here are going to vote for it, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, you know, there's more to life than just whiskey. <laughs> But, and, and weed does keep the, you know, hillbillies down, you know what I'm saying, keeps them in check, so it's a good thing. But anyways, Kenny, you know, he, he, he works for one of the guys that's got a big, you know, does the CBD thing, and he got a big spread up there at the show in San Antonio. And Kenny's like a security guy, you know, bar, super general manager of the bars, bars, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff. And he's got like about 30 people working for him, so they're up there doing that whole bit. Kenny didn't think he was going to have to work today because he thought his, like, second in command had it under control, but apparently the boss wants Kenny... Uh, and uh, he's worth it. So, yeah, so we've pushed our celebrations off another day or two until, you know, because life goes on. Life, you know, this in this instance, and I've said this before, life gets in the way sometimes, but in this instance, no. Life is not getting away because this is Kenny's life and this is what he does. Uh, so, anyways, so um, me and Betsy have been out back digging on the garden. I got, I got the whole square cut out, you know, for the trench and I got the cross cut. Right, so now I'm just shoveling it out, making the ditch, you know, making the trench. I'm gonna, I got a bunch of leaves and a bunch of mulch and a bunch of cardboard in the garage. Right, then I'm gonna lay down on top of it. We're gonna condition the earth. We're gonna do permaculture style stuff. Right, in the meantime, you know what I'm saying? It gives the lady and me a chance, right, to uh, surf around on the internet and figure out what kind of fencing that we want because Betsy is a terrier and she's already digging up the holes that I dug up. Can you, if you can get that. But anyway, so so that's where we're at. It's gonna be, you know, it's, we're not gonna get any food out of it, you know, until probably next spring or summer, anyway. So I mean, it takes a while. But when if you guys look at the playlist that I made, uh, garden, urban gardening in Phoenix, or you know, something like that, I think it was. If you look through the playlist, you know, order on my thing, you'll see the garden that we made, that me and Anonymous and Margaret made, that was, you know, side of the house, right? Now all the stuff we grow. Well, I'm gonna try to do that same style of garden, but here, but here I have the advantage because of the, because the yard slopes at an angle and it rains a lot, right? Where I'm at, 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to dig a long ass trench. It's probably going to be about 50, 55 feet long. It's going to come from the corner of the yard. It's going to run downhill into the corner of the trench for the garden so that when it does rain, right, not only is the garden going to get rained on, but it's also going to get some extra flow. It's going to flood. It's going to saturate the little islands around it while I do it. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. And uh, yes, Michael, right, Mike Mack, yes, I'm going to be doing some more gardening. And I mean, you're going to have fun because I'm going to do all kinds of really crazy shit. But in the meantime, it's all going to be about the construction and the setup of how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because, because I'm, I mean, I'm dealing with a flat yard here with a good patch of ground and a good, you know, piece of sunlight. And, and I'm on a north-south facing, so it's perfect, right? So there's going to be a lot of cool shit. We're going to try to grow some peppers, like four or five different kinds, jalapenos, bell peppers, maybe some habaneros, some serranos, maybe some fresnos. I don't know yet. But but the lady wants at least three or four kinds. Right? We're going to also gonna do some turn, uh, yellow and red tomatoes. We're going to try to do some cucumbers and some zucchinis. Depending, remember that one zucchini that me and Margaret grew that was like this. <laughs> this big? Anyways, and um, we're gonna do some melons and some other stuff. And then over at Kenny's house, I'm gonna dig another garden. He's gonna help me. And we're gonna dig another garden now because his his lady, his girl, his his soon to be wife, right, is a vegan, right, and she likes a lot of vegetables and stuff. So I'm gonna do all that stuff. And 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 to answer a question from Dario, right? I answered this in the comment, but I want to answer this, you know, right here, bro. Um. I consider you my friend, Daryl. Right, you're a good guy. You're a cool young guy. You do some cool shit. You know what I'm saying? You've been you've been a scriber and a friend of me for a year at least, minimum. I mean, I, I you've probably been there longer. I don't know. Right, you've been loyal. You've always liked my shit. You've always made comments. You've always asked pertinent questions. You were never disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You were always friendly. And, and I've emailed with you. We've had talked back and forth a few times. You know what I'm saying about different things. I've helped you with shit. You've helped me with shit. All right now. Out of the 4,000 some odd, you know, 3,900 some odd scarves I have, I have a core following of about 1,000, 1,200, something like that, 1,500, I think it might be in my analytics. It's between 1,000 and 1,500 people that watch me every day. Yeah, I don't get a lot of views, you know what I'm saying, on this specific video or that specific video, but I get a lot of views over the course of all my videos because I have so many that, ever, that there, you can't watch all my videos in a day. Well, I, over the years... I have developed friendships and relationships, emailing and, and actually meeting people and actually having people come to where I was or, or me being lucky enough like in the city of Phoenix, but a lot, a lot of my course drivers are from Phoenix, being able to ride back on my bike back and forth across town and go visit with them and to know them and to, and to introduce myself to them to see who they were. All right. Okay, now over this, the course of this said life, and I've done a lot of crazy shit. I mean, it's all right here on YouTube. Right, you know what I'm saying? And I can do more because I'm an artist. I graduated from the University of Arizona in 1978, you know what I'm saying, 1979, you know what I'm saying, with a bachelor's degree in, in art history. And I also have, you know what I'm saying, uh, another bachelor's degree in art. I'm actually truly an artist. That's why I have an appreciation for art. That's why I like to do stuff. That's why I like to make stuff. I like to do all kinds of shit. All right, well, somewhere along the course of the line, uh, um, my friend Nathan, and his beautiful wife Nancy and their friend Kenny, right? You know what I'm saying? And a few other people, right, that have watched me and have supported me over the years, right? We all got together and decided that since I ended up back in the streets of Phoenix with nothing, homeless, and they were stealing everything else I had, and I didn't have any any opportunity to do anything because, you know, here I was a year later and it hadn't changed, it actually gotten worse in Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? And and I didn't want anything to do with it. They they decided. Right, that they were going to do something good for me, right? Because they can, because they have it like that. Right? And and if and if you if you go back in the playlist and you go back in the line and you and you look at the life that me and Margaret and Anonymous had, right, when we were living in the house and we were living in the apartment and the things that I was doing, you'll see that the life that I had then is basically returned to me to the life I have now. Now, yes, and I'm going to bring this full circle all the way back around for the rest of you guys. Yeah. I know it's boring. I know it is. You know what I'm saying? But give me a chance, give me an opportunity to try to pick it back up and find some really interesting things because because I I wasn't feeling comfortable with putting my friends out there. Or I don't care if you guys know where I'm at. I don't care if the haters hate me. I don't care if they talk mad shit. Come get me. Right? If you're so brave, come get me. 
But for the rest of you, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't, it, it doesn't bother me to know because look, this is my life every day. A slice here, a slice there, today, tomorrow, next day. I might not make another one of these videos for three or four days a week and I just might post videos that have already got made. Because remember, I still got tons of videos from Rachel. I still got tons of videos from the bike adventure. I, I have a whole, I got like eight or nine videos that are like three, four, five hundred megabytes a piece of just the city of Berkeley, California. When we were, when me and Anonymous were there. Right? See, so, so, when you see me sitting here, right, or, or the video topic deals with something around here, you know what I'm saying, trees, bushes, flowers, I mean, like, right now, all the azaleas are blooming, I mean, like, I was thinking about going over there across the street to the neighbor's house and just making a video of their azaleas, you know what I'm saying, they are so cool, right, if any of that stuff, I mean, everybody goes, you guys have figured out how my shit works and how I do it, you know when I'm now and when I'm three months ago, right, Dario, right? But it's this is me all the time. I got a video on my post and I was half drunk, right? Where I said just that because I was mad at somebody, a hater, right? You know I'm saying no, I'm, I'm still debating whether I'm gonna post it or not. But if I do, hater, you know which one is pointed at. Just me, brother. Thank you.